Can you just elaborate a little bit more on the common law? What are the principles behind the common law? Um, well, the common law is, is quite a big thing in New Zealand because mm -hmm. we are uh, madly trying to work out how we can save ourselves as individuals yeah. and ourselves as communities. Mm -hmm. Common law comes from Britain because we have uh, been led to believe we're part of the Commonwealth we also are led to believe that the common law will work for us here in New Zealand. And this really is, I guess, something I'm working through uh, because if we are indeed an independent and sovereign nation, we've never been part of the Commonwealth because the Hewakaputanga Declaration <coughs> was a wet ink signature between William the Fourth's representative here in New Zealand, James mm. Musby, and the Rangatira, the Māori chiefs at the time. And so they together, flesh and blood with flesh and blood, contracted together. So Hewakaputanga is not a corporate contract. So now uh, we are told we're part of the Commonwealth, uh, so we, we tend to think that we can stand on our common right, uh, um, our common law rights given particularly or re-established particularly with the Magna Carta. And I, I, I'm just wondering if that is so, this is a jurisdiction that uh, is better placed in England, in the UK, rather than here in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And it's been coined or said that Hei Wakabutanga really is our Magna Carta. I think it's better than that, mm -hmm. uh, but I understand what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, we are fighting with common law in the courts over silly things like a parking ticket, for example. Yeah. Uh, and, and there is a certain degree of success mm -hmm. because across the world now, we have international law or... Mm -hmm. Uh, the law of the CSEE, -E, law of the CSEA, you can call it corporate law, contractual law, whatever you want. It's, it's all nuances of the same, mm. uh, few and very few, that have crafted uh, how uh, the rules of, that we live by. Mm. It really comes from canon law, comes from uh, uh, papal Rome back, really looking at the 1300s. Mm. Uh, so again, privileges, not rights. So to a degree, common law, because it is about word trickery, because it is, common law is a law. Canon law, law of the sea, admiralty law, uh, has to sit on our inalienable rights. They can't get rid of that. The elites mm. know they can't. So they pack everything on top of that. So there's um, uh, jurisdiction, um, sorry, um, uh, acts and legislations and mandates and and orders all these things are laid on top of of common law okay. and so what uh, we do or people that use common law we, we come under all that man-made structure and we come back to the god-made structure yeah. of our inalienable rights right. so yes we are having a certain amount of success but that is seems to be now disappearing the the court system are looking uh, for uh, ways to to uh, plug those loopholes and they are the ones that are creating the word trickery so they just redefine yeah. what mm. words are to keep mm. ahead of us all mm. the time mm. so even that will only take us so far and mm. that is the problem that I have where Hei Wakaputanga um, uh, goes much further mm. than common law for us here in New Zealand. Mm. Mm.